it's attitude adjustment time. You guys in uh, three, 360, the V80, real world 180, Mark Zuckerberg, if I have your ears right now, I, I could tell you just how fucked up your your solution is here. This uh, Oculus, it's great. The great, the technology is great. How people are going to harness it is fucked up. Um, they are doing 360 videos. Now I'm putting this on my head. I'm in the sofa chair. I'm not going to see shit behind me unless I have some way of navigating this content from my, f from here. You see, I'm going to shift my, I'm not going to shift my head around. I'm not going to, my, our heads don't do 360s in armchairs. Okay. Maybe I get in a swivel chair and I experience the content that way, but that's still too much activity to be passively watching the content. The only way this content is going to be any way that 360 content is going to be um, passively washable, which it has to be at the very least. At the very most, it is a active operation where you get up and you move around and you look all over your room and you experience everything that's around you and above you and below you. Okay, that is the extreme, the minute, the minimum that uh, people should have to do is be able to control their, where their head is in the, with the controller, be able to move their head with the controller rather than move their head with their head because they are going to get neck strain. They are going to their necks are going to hurt after they watch your content, okay? And they're going to get fucking pissed off at the whole experience, and they're not going to want to do it ever again. Because what? What does it happen? This content strains my neck. This content makes my neck hurt. This content makes my eyes hurt. Um, all of that has to do with improper formatting of the content, improper navigational uh, uh, features, functions to, ma to manage the content. We don't have them. You don't offer them. Where is the fucking controller for your 360 content? Where can I move my head like this rather than having to do that? Where can I navigate the content? In 3D, in, in, in 360, when I'm dealing with 360. 180 is fine. 180, I can look over here and I can look over here. And I got enough of the experience that I need. But whenever I'm dealing with 360, it's kind of like, okay, the only time I'm ever going to move around to look at 3D 360 content is whenever I'm watching the Cirque du Soleil uh, video, okay? That's a fantastic uh, example of some good content because they got people around you to interest you in, in every direction. And so you have a reason to move around the room. And, but whenever there's nothing there to, to interest you or whenever the people that would interest you go behind you, it uh, you, you ask yourself, why the fuck would I get out of my chair to get in a swivel chair to go and swivel around just to see what the fuck these guys are doing behind me, okay? That's that's the thing you have to ask yourself when you're a content creator of VR. Why the fuck would I look at you behind me whenever I'm looking forward to begin with? Why the fuck are you going back there? Why are you going over here? Why are you going over there? What's the, what's the purpose of that? Is it just lazy camera work? Are you just... You just want us to be like um, something out of, uh, you know, remember that movie, what was it, um, um, Amityville Horror, and uh, that that girl, and her head swiss around and she spits out vomit. That's the exact experience that people are getting from VR, and it's because of the content creators are dumb as hell about their content. They're not thinking. 
They're not thinking about what people are going to be doing with their content. They're thinking about what they want people to be doing with their content. But that's not what people are doing with their content. People are looking forward. They're not looking behind them. Okay? They're hearing shit behind them. They're they're hearing stuff going on behind them and nothing's going on in front of them. That You should never do that. Okay? There should be a one of a, a VR 101. There should be a 101 for cinematography and VR. And they should outline all the things you should never do with this content. This is stuff I got in videography, um, gorilla, gorilla video. Um, this would go under things you do not do in video to, um, to people. Like you don't get up and go to the bathroom. You don't uh, pick your nose in VR. You don't, uh, I mean, uh, in a video. Um, there are things that they just don't do on television. You know, Archie Bunker had the, his uh, his urinal and he went to the bathroom every now and then because nobody ever goes to the bathroom in a sitcom. And that was just, they did that just for the fun of it. That's interesting. That's fine. It's in VR, it's even more of a problem um, um, doing things. Uh, those, the things that disgust you are not, or what, what's bad in VR. What's bad in VR is when you are, when you hear audio, the things that are that need your attention are behind you and you are driven to try to look behind you. Um, people want to watch things come to them in front. They don't want to be looking behind. The only time that experience is going to have merit it's going to merit that experience. The only thing that's going to um, say that that's the way to do things is when there's stuff all around you to look at. So you hear stuff behind you, hear stuff behind you, hear stuff behind you. That's when you want to be in a soil chair, listening to the, seeing the experience. You're in the experience. That's immersive. It's not immersive whenever there's only one thing that's supposed to, that, supposed to be grabbing your attention and the fuckers behind you okay okay when that happens there needs to be something that allows people to turn the the sphere of of interest around and rather than turning their head okay so mark if you have a brain which you don't i i am 100 percent sure you don't have a brain because you are not you, for instance, you don't have a child lock on these oculuses. What if somebody's kid, somebody has a VR porn on this thing, and a little kid picks it up, puts it on their head? They just have, they're going to have a traumatic experience because of you, Mark, fucking dumbass Zuckerberg. Okay, okay. So, put a child lock on the fucker. Okay, figure out how to get some navigation in this sucker. Come up with a, a VR 101 course for cinematographers that are going to work with VR content. This is the only way this stuff is going to sell, is if people have good experiences. And if you're sitting there expecting them to come up, if you're expecting them to come to you, you're, you've got another thing coming. It's just like this song. You've got another thing coming, man. Okay? You've got another thing coming. Okay? I could do some really bad stuff to you right now. I could I could put you in the face. I could say, you're a dumbass. Okay? And I, I could do that. And I could do that. That's Those are things that are going to make you pissed off at me. But I that's, I'm doing that because I want to wake you up, man. I want to wake you up. Okay? Come up with some better content. Don't expect people to come to you. You, Zuckerberg, better be the man who creates the content. Not expecting your users to come up with it. You, my man, have the money. You have the ability to start coming up with good content for your VR. Because that's the only way that's going to sell this shit. Okay? That's the only way.